Most people will associate Crystal Palace with the famous football team, but it's so much more than that. It's actually a large park, a Grade 2 listed park. There was a sports centre on the site that hosted cup finals, as well as the Crystal Palace football matches, until 1914. The club then relocated to Selhurst Park, which remains their home to this day. They're sometimes simply called the Palace, and sometimes referred to as the Glaziers, in reference to glass and crystal. In 1964, the old site became a national sports centre and now hosts many athletic events, as well as open-air concerts. Crystal Palace is also the home of TV. The first TV station and transmitter were located there back in 1933 by John Logie Baird, the inventor of television. A new transmitter was erected in 1956 and the first colour test transmissions were broadcasted from the site. The tower was the tallest structure in London until 1990 when Canary Wharf took over. Currently, today in 2024, it's the Shard, but the Crystal Palace Tower still remains as a reminder of Halcyon days. Salbert, the beloved husband of Queen Victoria, helped to organise the Great Exhibition of 1851, which took place in Hyde Park in London. A grand greenhouse or glasshouse structure was constructed with the help of the great engineer Isambard Kingdom Brunel, especially for the exhibition. Brunel had become famous after building the Great Western Railway and the Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol. The glass structure was extremely grand and housed statues and trees. After the exhibition, it was moved and permanently housed in the Pleasure Park, which became known as Crystal Palace. The glass palace was destroyed by fire in 1936, but today the foundations can still be seen, giving the imagination a brief glimpse of what a grand sight it must have been. The park is a wonderful, almost secret treasure and features true-to-scale models of dinosaurs scattered throughout. A stroll around the lake is so peaceful that you can completely forget that you're close to a city. There's also a maze which looks a bit like a crop circle from above, so try not to get lost. The name may be all that's left of the Crystal Palace, but the vibes remain. It may be gone, but it will not be forgotten. <laughs>